A couple of years ago, I made a video about the Google career certificates that blew up and got nearly a million views and thousands of comments from people telling me that I changed their lives. And a few comments here and there saying that I led them down a dead end. So here's the million dollar question. Is the Google IT professional certificate still worth it in 2025? Or is it just another tech company selling false hope to desperate career changers? In 2025, the certificate is either gonna change lives or it's not. And I'm here to tell you whether or not it's still worth it. And look, I've probably gotten hundreds of DMs, emails, and comments asking about their certificate. Shane, should I still do it? Shane, will it get me a job? Shane, you said it was worth it a few years ago, but my friend says that the market's changed. So I did what nobody else would do. I went over the certificate myself. I spent a ton of time tracking down people that have actually taken it and asking them the relevant questions. I talked to actual hiring managers and I spent a lot of time digging through employment data that big tech companies probably don't want you to see. And by the end of this video, you'll know if the certificate is actually worth your time and money in 2025, who's succeeding with it and who's failing miserably, what employers really think, not what Google claims they think, and exactly what you need to do if you decide to pull the trigger on this. So this is just gonna be the raw, unfiltered truth from someone who's been watching this space for years, right? I've made several videos on these certificates. I was one of the first people to cover them when they first came out. And since then, I've been tracking these certs like a hawk. And I've talked to countless people that have tried these certs. Some succeeded wildly. Others, well, let's just say they had some choice words. Just as an example, here's some of the positive comments from my videos that talked about this exact cert. And as you can see, these people absolutely love it. And here's a negative comment. And as you can see, this person wasn't a big fan. Now, during the last few years, I've watched Google update the program, change their promises, adjust their marketing, and I've seen competitors also pop up trying to steal their thunder. And most importantly, I've watched the job market evolve in ways that literally nobody could have predicted. So when I say I've been obsessed with giving you the truth about the certificate, I'm not exaggerating. This isn't just content for me, it's personal. Hey guys, in the editing process right now, but quick pause to give you a special deal from Coursera. So Coursera is launching its early bird summer promo offer, and this is where learners will get access to thousands and thousands of courses. And these include the Google IT Support Professional Certificate that I've covered in this video, and all of this for 50% off the annual subscription. Details are on the screen, and you can check it out. And I remember last year, they had a similar promo to this, and I mentioned it in one of my videos and a bunch of people got into it and they were super happy with it, but a bunch of people missed out on it and they basically commented over and over again like hey when is this going to be available well hey it's available right now right and it's only going to be there for a limited amount of time so if you're on the fence about this this is the absolute best time to jump into coursera plus you do not want to miss out on this so it's going to be down in the description as well as the pinned comment below so go down there to check it out but anyways back to the video now first things first the tech landscape in 2025 is not what it was and i need you to understand that before we go any further now obviously the world has completely changed since the last time i covered these certs AI, for instance, has absolutely exploded since then, but the biggest change with the cert itself is that it's expanded. Google added two new specializations that are focused on cybersecurity and data analytics, for instance. And they've also partnered with over 15 more companies claiming to prioritize certificate holders in hiring. And price-wise, depending on the time of year that you're watching the video, or even the location that you click on the link from, it's around $39 to $49 a month through Coursera. And you can check the price for your specific location by clicking the link in the description and the pinned comment below. But here's what really matters, the job market. Market. In 2023, we were seeing tech layoffs left and right, and right after that, AI absolutely boomed. Now, in 2025, hiring has stabilized, but the competition is still fierce. Entry-level positions that would have required just a certificate a few years ago now have 300-plus applicants, many with degrees and certs. And companies that might have been willing to take a chance on someone with just a certificate and not even a degree, well, many of them have quietly backed away from those claims. Plus, there's a lot of new AI tools which have totally changed the game. And Many of these tools are handling a lot of the basic IT tasks that those certificates train you for. Not all of them, but enough to change the game. And the biggest competitor now isn't just CompTIA A Plus's certification. It's the flood of eight to 12 week boot camps that promise to make you AI ready for IT or tech related roles. And most of them are garbage, but they are muddying the waters. Now let's get into what you actually learn with this certificate in 2025. The core program still covers fundamentals of IT support, networking, operating systems, system administration, and security. And the newer tracks 
dig deeper into specific domains like cybersecurity and data analysis. Now, the quality of the materials, still solid. Google did not cheap out here. The videos are professional, the quizzes actually test your knowledge, and the hands-on labs are decent. Not amazing, but decent. But the truth is, for a product that costs $40 to $50 a month, they're not going to be able to afford to have live teachers or coaches. However, for course curriculum, it's really good. And the time commitment, they say it's going to take you six months, but if you're working full-time and doing this on the side, you're probably going to be able to finish it within one to two months. And this is exactly what many people have reported online. Now, let me be very clear here. This is not a magic ticket. It's a tool. And like any tool, it depends on who's using it. And if you think you're going to just passively absorb this stuff while half watching Netflix, then just stop the video now. This isn't for you. This requires actual effort, actual focus, and actual determination. Now, where does it still fall short? Practical experience. The labs are good, but they're still simulated environments. Now, they updated some of this in 2024, but it's not the same as troubleshooting real systems for real users who are screaming at you because their email won't load. So to be fair to them, it would be impossible for them to actually give you practical situations. The certificate also doesn't dig deep enough into cloud platforms, which is where a ton of IT jobs are heading. Sure, they touch on it, but not enough for you to confidently put cloud expertise on your resume. And different people respond differently to the format. So if you're self-motivated and you're good at connecting concepts, you'll love it. If you need someone physically present to explain things, you might struggle. But the truth is, this is like a $40 a month certificate. It's not a $100,000 college degree or a $10,000 boot camp. And so if you want expert feedback and coaching, you're going to have to pay more money. Money. Now, I'm not here to sell you a dream. I'm here to tell you if your dream aligns with what this certificate can actually do for you. So who should get this certificate in 2025? First of all, career changers with zero tech background, but high motivation. Also, people who are already working adjacent to IT who need to formalize their knowledge. Another one would be recent high school grads who can't afford or don't want a four-year degree. And also anyone with good soft skills who can combine this cert with solid networking. And as a little bonus, if you are willing to move to a non-desirable area or maybe like a town out in the middle of nowhere, it's very easy to land IT jobs. And this can be a very good way to get your foot in the door, get some experience, and then later on you can get the more desirable IT jobs that are usually going to be remote. Not to say that you can't land a remote job right off the bat, but it's obviously easier to land jobs in those undesirable areas. Now, who should not get this certificate? People expecting a job to fall into their lap immediately afterwards, those who aren't willing to do additional projects beyond the certificate, anyone who hates technology but heard IT pays well, or people who need structured in-person learning environments. Now, being serious here, the required background is minimal. You need basic computer literacy, that's about it, but you do need to be comfortable learning new things constantly and troubleshooting problems. And when it comes to the ROI breakdown, you're paying like $40 a month for six months max, and that's $240 max. Now let's compare it to the alternatives. It's still cheaper than boot camps, which are usually 10 to $30,000, and it's way cheaper than college, which is usually $100,000. Plus it's gonna be much more structured than pure self-study, and it is going to give you an edge. Now in terms of its biggest competitor, it's probably CompTIA A+, but the truth is many successful folks end up getting both and your resume is going to look better if you have both on it. Now, when it comes to hiring managers and decision makers, I do talk to them all the time. And when I ask them about the Google certs, their responses range from we actively look for them to we don't really care about any certs. And here's the truth. In 2025, about 60% of employers recognize the Google certificate as a legitimate credential, but only about 25% of them see it as a significant factor in hiring. And every single hiring manager or decision maker said that they care more about what you can actually do than what certificates that you have. So put the certificate on your resume, sure, but dedicate more space to projects that you've completed, real problems that you've solved, and specific skills that you've developed. Now let's talk about the hard truth that nobody's talking about. And this part is probably gonna make some people angry, but you still need to hear it. The certificate alone is almost always not going to be enough to land a job in 2025. Not with the competition out there right now. And I've talked to people who completed the certificate, applied to over 100 jobs, and got zero callbacks. And I've also talked to people who got hired after three applications. What's the difference? The successful ones did one of these things. They built a home lab or detailed projects that they could show off. They contributed to open source or help forums. They networked like crazy on LinkedIn or local tech meetups. They created content demonstrating their knowledge in the form of YouTube videos videos, blogs, etc., or they volunteered their IT skills completely free at nonprofits, religious organizations, or local businesses in order to build their skills. Now, the certificate teaches you the what, but employers care more about the how and the why. Can you solve problems? Can you communicate with non-technical people? Can you think critically when Google doesn't have the answer? Those skills aren't in the certificate. They're in you or they're not. And let's address the uncomfortable reality. 
bias still exists in hiring. Some companies, for whatever reason, will still only hire people that have college degrees, even though we all know that most degrees don't matter anymore and they just teach you stuff that actually mattered 10 years ago but doesn't matter right now. And it's not fair, but pretending that it doesn't exist doesn't help anyone prepare for the real world. So here's my unfiltered take. Is the Google IT certificate still worth it in 2025? Yes, if you're using it as a foundation to build upon, not a magic ticket. No, if you expect it to do all the heavy lifting in your job search. So who should get it now? So let's talk about a few different types of people that should get it now. Career changers with a clear plan and the discipline to do extra projects, people who can't afford traditional education but are willing to hustle, and those with strong soft skills who need technical knowledge to complement them. Now let's go over who should wait. People who haven't even explored free resources like YouTube tutorials to see if they even like IT, anyone who can't dedicate the time it's going to take to get proficient in IT and do projects and build a portfolio, and then who should completely avoid it? Those who just want a good paying job if they don't have any passion for for technology or any skill in it, or people who aren't willing to network or build a portfolio beyond the certificate. And to maximize your ROI on the certificate, you want to complete all optional projects, not just the required ones, start building your portfolio while taking the courses, not after, and join Google certificate holder communities on Discord, LinkedIn, Reddit, etc. So my prediction here is that the world is changing and Google is likely going to revamp these certificates soon. It's pretty much necessary with all of the different AI related knowledge that's come out. But the knowledge you learn from the certificate, if applied correctly, will always be valuable. The world runs on technology and someone needs to support it. And if traditional education isn't an option for you, this certificate certificate plus deliberate practice plus networking is still one of the most accessible pathways into IT because you definitely do not need to get a college degree to get into IT. However, it's probably going to make it a little bit easier. Now, before you decide, ask yourself, am I genuinely interested in solving technical problems? Do I have the discipline to go beyond the curriculum? And am I prepared for the reality of an entry-level IT job? Your answers to these questions matter way more than anything Google puts in their marketing. Now, in the comments, I want to hear from two groups, people who got the certificate and succeeded and all also people who got it and struggled because I want people to have a realistic expectation for these certs. They are a tool, just like a hammer is a tool, a screwdriver is a tool, or a wrench is a tool. And if you try to use a hammer to hammer in a screw, you're probably not going to have a good time. And so this tool, if used correctly in the right situations is amazing. But if it's used incorrectly, it's not going to work out for you. And listen, I know some of you are in tough spots, dead end jobs, financial pressure, responsibilities pulling you in every direction. And I totally get it. I've been there. And this certificate isn't perfect. The job market isn't fair. But if you go with clear eyes and realistic expectations, this could still be your way out. Now, by the way, that link is an affiliate link. You get seven days for free off. And if you end up buying from them, I will get a small percentage. But with that being said, if you don't want to click on the link, you can always just type it in on Google. But if you appreciate me doing the research for these videos, you can click the link as a thanks to me. And also check out my video on the Google certificate tier list if you want to see which ones are the best, in my opinion, and also see which ones might be the best for you by clicking right here.